hello and welcome to magic autocad in this part of tutorial we are going to create an isometric view from this plan drawing we're going to make a 3d isometric view so let's get started before drawing this plan i created some blocks which i used in drawing the various features of this plan so let's go to layer properties then we're going to drop down here then from here we're going to lock all these layers that we already created in making this drawing because we're not going to use these features of this uh, plan to make our isometric view but we are going to use the features as reference points so in that let's create new layers let's name this layer walls then let's give okay let's leave it at the white color let's leave it at white color then now let's select the rest of the layers and and block and lock okay then you click on lock all the layers will be locked then now let's check let's go back up here let's go back to layers and keep walls as the current layer then now let's go back to layer properties <coughs> One more layer that we didn't lock, so let's also lock this other layer. Then we close. So now you are going to see that uh, the whole plan has turned blur, okay? Because we have locked, so we have locked, so it doesn't more function. Now let's go to turn our drawing space to 3D modeling. You come down here and switch to 3D modeling then while waiting it switches on then we move up here to this view cube directly above the view cube you're gonna see sorry slow here you're gonna see this home icon you click on the home icon <coughs> then you have this southwest isometric view then the next thing we're going to do now is let's go to polyline like i told you we're just going to use this plan as a reference okay we start from this first point here we click by using a polyline click on this other point and then let's zoom here to click at this end be careful click very select very carefully and then we click at the end points then we we'll move down to click at this other end point then now let's come down to close line command and we click on close so that this line will be closed very good from here we move up to the extreme right you will see layers uh, please take note that the uh, the software i'm using is autodex autocad 2020 maybe your version might be different and your software may be different so you might find your features or your tabs or your layers elsewhere so for here let's go up to the action right you're going to see layers then you follow down and then click on layer properties then here it's going to take us back to this point then now let's select okay we select the layers that we previously locked then you're going to see freeze okay you click on freeze then you come to close now you've gonna you're gonna see that we've frozen the features that were here because we already had our traced line then now let's go to offset then let's type in an offset distance of 15 that is the thickness of the wall enter then let's make an offset inward then escape 
please take note that before doing the plan i did my i adjusted my units and i choose the learn type as decimal and the insertion scale as centimeters so from here let's go to the press pool come up to your extreme left you're going to see press pool you click on press pool then you come here it's going to uh, light then you click in between you take it upward a bit then you type in a height of 300 centimeters okay that is the height of a wall enter sorry then you're gonna have the shape so from here let's go to visual style and see what we got then let's try to share it. let's put it on share it then you're going to see that we've made our walls for now we're not going to really consider the inner walls because you could still take the same procedure okay to raise the inner walls but for now let's keep it at this level because we are much more interested in the view remember we are doing isometric view so by the time we are going to do all the external features okay the interior will not be seen for now and uh, only this wall this one here here these four walls that we are going to make features on them behind here we're not going to make features on them because we are much more interested in the isometric view so with that let's go back to the visual style to put it to 2d frame so from here we are going to make the doors and windows openings so with that we have to first of all consider the height of the door which is 210 centimeters then with that we have to go to the polyline and make another reference running beam going around at the lintel level but we're not going to do that let's just go here to, the, to this other trace and select then they're going to give you this option okay select pol polyline okay select polyline then now let's go to copy okay go to the copy tool then let's copy it somewhere here at this end they will move it upward and type in a height of 210 210 enter okay and then we click escape so you are going to see our new reference height okay the height for the doors and windows then now let's go back up here to layers then we drop down these layers let's just do a shortcut then now we're going to unfreeze okay we're going to unfreeze these uh, layers that we already blocked let's unfreeze yeah in order to take the reference of the windows okay here we are then from here let's go to the coordinates okay go to the coordinates you click here then you're gonna see here face you click on face we start with this face to make these two windows here then we click on this face then enter then you go now to a rectangle you click on rectangle then you come here you click at this end point then you bring it this way and then type in the span of the window is 150 okay because it's a three in one window 150 comma the height is 110 110 enter okay we're gonna have something like this so from here let's select let's select to move it up okay then we'll go to the move command then let's click at this end point here then now you're gonna see this projection line this tracking 
green line and then it's going to track at intersection okay and then we we click then from here i would like us to copy this one and use it so we select sorry my computer is freezing okay so we select then we we'll go to the copy command let's copy it at this end okay then we we'll pull it then we we'll bring it here to snap here to snap here at this end point escape now let's select again to copy no to move okay then let's turn it then we come up at this other angle upwards and click there then we move directly to follow this green tracking line at the intersection point okay then from there let's go back to face and then let's use now this face we click on this face enter because we want to draw this other window then i will go back to rectangle then we click here and pull it and give sorry and type in 150 comma 110 enter okay then we select and right click to go to the move to 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 copy so yeah to move then we click on this end then we move it upward following this green tracking line to intersection then now with the door let's go to the rectangle then we click on this point then we we'll pull it upwards pull it over to click at this other end there we are from here we'll move to this last window here this is the last window then you see that this window has the same features with this one the same measurements okay so with that let's select this window and move things it it's on the same face okay it faces the same direction we go to copy then let's copy at this bottom angle and then we come here then it's gonna snap at this end point then escape then now let's go let's click let's select and go back to move tool then let's copy from this end point then pull it upward to follow this tracking green tracking line to intersection okay yeah follow up to this intersection then we click there yeah so i think for now that is all about the windows so let's go back to the layers then we drop down to freeze let's freeze the layers back so we can view very well hmm? okay here we are then now let's go to press pull then here we press pull and inward the same here click and pull inward click pull inward and click click the same at the door pull inward and then finally click on this one also pull inward and click so let's quickly go to visualistic style then we'll put it on shaded so you will see that we've created our doors and window openings so on in part two of this tutorial we are going to learn how to create the window frames door frames and the shutters